Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. In this video, we are going to conclude chapter number one, introduction to microwaves. So up till now in this chapter, we have gone through various information related to microwave engineering. That is very, very essential before we study the basic principles, the working operations and the design and analysis for the microwave engineering systems. So I hope you are very well familiar what exactly the microwave is. It is basically the electromagnetic wave with the frequency range between the 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So here we have the specific behavior of the microwave and because of that we achieve the various microwave applications. The principle of operation we started to have a solid background with the knowledge of electron motion in the presence of electric field, magnetic field, electromagnetic field where we have solved one basic problem also. Now the microwave equations, its propagation through various kinds of media have also been covered. So lastly, the specific applications where the metallic film coated plastic substrate are used to have attenuation of radiation are to be understood. So let us have the understanding of this particular topic. So our topic here we have the microwave propagation into the metallic film coated onto the plastic substrate. There are certain engineering applications for example the windshields of the aeroplane or the automobile if you take or some another applications where the radiation is to be attenuated at the optimum level. So for that case the metallic film is to be coated onto the plastic substrate and it has to be used for the optimum use. So at this particular point what is the effective conductivity for this metallic film as considered to that of the bulk metal is also to be accounted. Then what is the surface resistance for this particular metallic film and how much attenuation is achieved by using such metallic films coated onto the plastic or if you take the glass also that is also permissible. So that we need to see here. So let us have the formulation of the conductivity of this metallic film. The conductivity of this metallic film is denoted by sigma suffix f. So I write here sigma suffix f and it is calculated by using the conductivity of the bulk metal also along with the thickness of the metallic film and the electron mean path. So here the formula I give you that 3 into T into sigma divided by 4 times P in the square bracket here we have ln in bracket P divided by T plus 0.4228. This formula is very very important. The next two problems are also based on to the use of this particular formula. So in this formula the film conductivity sigma suffix f depends on the sigma. So this is actually the conductivity of the bulk metal. So at the last of this video I shall be giving you the specific values for the gold, silver and the copper metals here. T is the thickness of the metallic film here and P is the electron mean free path. So here in this diagram simply if you see if this is the metallic film and it has been coded onto such a plastic or glass substrate. So the portion that you see a shaded one that is your substrate it is your plastic or glass and this one is the metallic sheet so this is the dimension t the thickness of the metallic film so inside this metallic film whatever the conductivity if you take so that is sigma suffix f so if only the metal is to be taken arbitrarily the in the bulk form so that it will be the conductivity sigma and 
for having the free electrons in this metallic film whatever the mean free path is there so that is need to be accounted by p so depending on t sigma and p here also p and t are accounted the complete manipulation of this particular calculations can be done and finally this sigma suffix f can be calculated now in the formula of resistance that just now we have seen if we make the length of that particular metallic film is equal to the width of the metallic film so in that case we have l is equal to w then we can write capital r suffix s i give here for the surface resistance so we simply have rho suffix f for the film resistivity divided by the thickness t only we are left with so it will be equal to 1 upon t into sigma suffix f that is the film conductivity that just now we have taken so it shall be the measurement of surface resistance in terms of ohms per square here so this formula is also very very important as far as the next two problems are considered along with the formula for sigma suffix f the conductivity of the metallic film the surface resistance is to be also calculated now the purpose to have this metallic film coated onto the plastic or glass substrate is to optimally attenuate the electromagnetic radiation at microwave frequencies so to account for attenuation here i write attenuation so it is because of the three terms very first of all is the capital a that is added with capital r and that is further added with capital c so capital a is accounting for the absorption loss because of the metallic film and r is because of the reflection loss and c is accounting the correction term into the addition of these two so finally the attenuation i have abbreviated here a double t is actually 40 minus 20 log of r suffix s that is the surface resistance in terms of ohms per square that we have just now written into the last formula so this attenuation will be in the terms of decibels so this formula we are also going to use for solving nest to problems the example problems that we are going to take here so specifically the metallic film that is coated onto the plastic or glass substrate the metal is uh, most of the times gold silver or copper so i give you the constant values for the conductivity resistivity and the electron mean free path so let us take for gold so for gold the conductivity the bulk conductivity sigma is equal to 4.10 into 10 to the power 7 moles per meter now the resistivity of the bulk is also given it is 2.44 into 10 to the power minus 8 that is ohm meter and the electron mean free path that is denoted by small p is equal to 570 angstroms so angstrom is 10 to power minus 10 in multiplication to the value here so this is for the gold now for the case of silver the silver meter if you take so that time the bulk conductivity sigma is given by the value the value is 6.170 into 10 to the power 7 moles per meter the resistivity for the silver bulk is given by 1.620 into 10 to the power 8 that is ohm meter and the electron mean free path is given by the value 570 angstrom lastly if you take the case of copper so for copper i mentioned here the sigma value is equal to 5.800 into 10 to the power 7 moles per meter then the resistivity rho is given by 1.724 
into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter and lastly here we have electron mean free path p is equal to 420 angstroms here so i hope this much of knowledge is sufficient to the introduction of the microbios and its further propagation into the various mediums now based on to the current concept in the next lecture we shall be solving two problems to have the calculations of attenuation i hope you like this particular video if you want to have some more information you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you